Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create a toggle switch component using Vue.js and Tailwind CSS. Vue.js is a progressive JavaScript framework used for building interface and front-end application. Tailwind CSS is basically a utility-first CSS framework for rapidly building custom interfaces. When I say rapidly, I mean rapidly. Before we get coding, this is what a toggle component looks like. And we're going to try as much as possible to build off this component with just Tailwind CSS and we're not going to write um, any regular CSS. All we need is just Tailwind CSS class names and we are going to bring this into Rite and we are going to spice it up with JavaScript using Vue.js to ensure that the functionalities and the logic are properly done. So let's get our hands dirty. What we need to do first, I want to make this video as short as possible. I've scaffolded the Vue 3 and Tailwind project already. The only additions to this project, and everything is bare. You can see the app.v is empty. So I want to make this tutorial in the regular Vue 2 syntax and using the Vue 3 syntax. So let's dive right into it. To create this button, we basically need two divs. The first div is for the outer layer, and the second div is for this white rounded element inside. So let's start. I'm going to start with the Vue 2 way. So the first div and the second div. So what we just need to do is use the class names that Tailwind provides to us. And first I want to make the parents. So I'm going to first call, the, you hear me call the first div, the parent div. I'm going to give it a width of 14, h8. If you've conversant with Tailwind CSS, these are basically Tailwind class names that automatically gives you this value, attach these values to this CSS properties. W-14 is basically with 3.5 frames. Um, H8, we want to give this parent a display of flex and item center, which is equivalent to align item center. We want to give it a background gray, 300, gray 300, and rounded full. This is basically to give it a full um, a border radius of a very, very high value. And let's see what we have. Okay, we can't see this at the moment because we are yet to import it. So I'm just going to create a, an outer div here and import this toggle view. Mm. Okay, I think I need to export default. So we have to name this. I'm going to name this toggle view too. So our app can automatically import it toggle view too. Yes, and you have to specify the particular file type at the end or else Vite is going to complain. So let's see what we have. Yes, we have this here. So I just want to bring this to the middle of the screen and uh, how do I put an element at the center? The same thing, the same way we do with the regular CSS. So I'm just going to do display flex, justify content center, align item center. Um, this should come to the center and I'm just going to give it a padding top of um, 12, they should apply a pattern to the parent. So we have this here, good. The next thing we want to style, so we're back to our component now, we want to create this white rounded element inside. So to do this, we're gonna give this a regular, um, we'll give the width and height the same, vo the same um, value. So I'm gonna give this width six and H six. Uh, we also want it, because it's a white background, I'm just going to do BG white, um, rounded, full. So it gives us this circular vibe. And maybe add a shadow to it. So let's see what we have. Nice. But we need this. You can see there is this little edge spacing by around the edge. So I'm just going to give this um, parent a pattern of one. So let's see, boom, we have this. And, and we are done with this. Basically we're done with the CSS. We only just need to spice this up with the JavaScript and add the functionality whereby once a user clicks on the toggle component or the switch component, it should move the circular parts to the right. So how do we do this? We do this by using the power of two-way binding using vModel and our props. So to, be, to achieve this, we need to make a um, two-way binding using our V model. So I'm just going to give this here 
First, let's create a, a data property. Um, I'm just going to return. So I'm going to give this um, toggle state. This toggle state is going to be false, so which is at uh, this is going to be our default state, false, right? And with the power of two-way binding using the view model, we are going to pass this toggle state in here, and toggle state will automatically. So we're going to also have to create a props into this component. Remember, this is a custom component here. So I'm just going to create quick create a props here. And this props is going to be passed from the model. So it's going to have a model value. I'm going to call this a model value. And this props would be of a type Boolean. And I'm just going to make this default false. All right, so we, we're done with the props. And we can easily pass data from the parents. So at this moment, we, we can pass data from our parents to the child element using this props toggle state, right? So what we also want to do is once the state changes in the, in the child component, we want to pass the updated data to the parent component. And one of the easiest ways we can do this is using the emit. So but for us to do that, we need to have a, an unclick handler. So I'm going to do unclick when you click, which is add click. We want to toggle. We want to just have this function called toggle. So I'm going to create a method and have a function called toggle. And what this should do is just um, emit an event. And what events should it emit? We want to update the model value. We want to update the model value, which is our props, update it back to the, to our, and passing along what? The updated value of our model value, which is basically our props that we're passing. Um, back and forth between the parent and the child component. So with this, I think we have fixed the functionality. Just to be sure, I'm just going to console.log. Console.log, um, not this, dot model value. So you're going to ask, why do I have this, not this? Not this is a good hack for switching between Booleans. So at the moment, this model value, right, is false. When you have a bang and it not false is equals to true. And if the model value is true, not true is equals to false. I hope you understand this little um, Boolean switch here. So we can go back to our app and check our console. So once I click, it has changed from false to true, and mm, something is wrong. Something is wrong somewhere. Let me take that this default and see what happens. Okay, um, I think we need to take out this default. So we basically don't have to give it a default type. Right, and we can see here, as we click, it changes between true and false. Awesome. Um, so what we just need to do is, using the, the conditions of the Boolean, when it's true, we want to shift the circular path to the right and change the background. So let's do that quickly. Um, for this, um, we're going to do, cl um, do a class binding and Translate dash x dash give it a six when the model value is true. So when this model value at the stage when is this is true, class binding conditionally adds a class to the existing class based on a particular condition, right? So if this is true, it's going to add this translate dash x to this class to the list of classes. And um, but before we can use the translate, we need to add um, the transform. If you're conversant with, with the regular um, CSS, you know before you transform, translate works hand in hand. And let's see what happens. Let's see what we have. So nice, nice, it's switching. 
And the next thing we want to do is perhaps make the, tr the, the switching more smoother, right? So I'm just going to add um, a transition all and duration 500. Let's see what we have now. Nice. So um, the last thing is just to using the class bind to um, toggle between the background colors. So I'm just going to write them. Um, if the model value is true, I'm using. I'm going to use a ternary operator here. If the model value is true, give me a BG orange um, 500. Else, give me um, a BG white. What's the correct no, BG gray? All right, so yes, and we have this working. Um, we only just need to make the change, the change in background uh, smoother as well. So I'm just going to make this transition all and duration 500. So we should have a smoother. We should have a smoother background. Let me take this out so you can see the whole. Yes, we should have a smoother background now. Good background change. Awesome. So with this, we're done with the view two approach. So um, moving on to the view three, the o we're going to maintain the same HTML structure, right? So I'm just going to copy this and paste this here. Right, so it's going to complain that we don't have some of this. So for us to use the view three, I'm going to use the script setup. Um, setup, yep. And in our setup, similar to what we did here in view two, we're going to need the props, we're going to need our emits, and we're going to need our methods. But in the view three way, it's different. So we're just going to use const props, and do you give you gi view three gives us this awesome defined props functionality. And you pass in an object so you can define your props here. I'm just going to call this model value. And this is going to be of a type Boolean. This is going to be of a type Boolean. And I'm going to also define our emits. Const emits is equals define emit. And in here, we're going to pass the emit options. What's the emit option? The emit option is we want to update um, the, the model value, right? Update, update the model value. And finally, toggle um, function. I'm just going to do function, toggle. And what we want to do here is yeah, it's quite tricky, but it's still the same approach. Want to emit, right? What are we emitting? What events? The update model value and what um, data are we passing along these events? The data is bank. Remember the bank? Our props, right? Dot model value. So this is how we access our property, our props, um, props dot model value. And with this, we should have our view three component working. So I'm just going to import this right here. But this time, okay, let me, we can test at first using um, the regular um, options API method or the regular way we would do. I'm just going to comment this out um, and pass in the V model as well. Remember, the V model is the one handling the trick for our toggle states and so this is currently view three so i'm just gonna add this here um span view three yeah so this is our view three um so let's test this let's see once we click nice this is working as well and you can see we've done this without any regular CSS or just we're just basically using um, Tailwind CSS class names to achieve all of this um, beautiful, awesome toggle component. And but one final thing is you might not use the regular scripts and most likely you're going to be using a script setup. So I'm just going to 
I'm just going to comment out this and copy. I'm just going to copy this part and comment out this script here. So I want to use the script setup as well. Script setup and we're going to import the toggle view 3 and so we also want to at the top import ref from view to hold our toggle state don't forget and finally we can do const toggle state uh, ref and the default start we're initializing this toggle um, this toggle state with um, a false value and with this this is how you can do this with the script setup um, we should still have the same good we still have the same functionality working and as a spice we can mimic um, a dark mode we can mimic a dark mode right so once we toggle this we want to have a dark mode so very easy to do with in CSS I'm just gonna make this is a hacky one so I'm just gonna add a, a class bind and type in here that if the toggle based on our toggle state if it's true based on our toggle state if this is true um, we want to have a BG a background gray um, no gray 700 else we want to have a BG white so what, what we're doing here is basically change the background if toggle state is true this value here once it changes to true add this class name else add this class name so I'm just gonna make this um, H screen H screen is equivalent to 100 VH so H screen is basically a hundred VH, and once we go back, we should have this work here. And so I'm just gonna add a transition, transition dash all and duration of 500 with easing out to make it more smoother. And we have our dark mode working. So yes. And we are all done. Like I said, mentioned earlier, this is without writing any form of CSS and just utilizing what Tailwind um, class names provide for us to create this beautiful um, toggle component. And don't forget, we did this using the view two regular way of writing VJS and the view three um, syntax of creating this toggle component. And if you know you you benefited a lot from this video, please kindly subscribe hit the notification bell below so you can be updated when i push in a new video i have lots of content coming up right up right out after this and um please stress as much as possible to share with others so they can benefit from this the code base is going to be added to the description below click on it so you can play with this play with this class names and see how you can um, modify it to suit your own styles assalamu alaikum